the result. Choose the law firm with the reputation and experience to win your case. Choose Jacoby and Myers. It's your journey. Own it in the Hyundai Santa Fe. The 2022 Santa Fe with complimentary maintenance and America's best warranty. New vehicles arriving daily, only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. The day after a big holiday usually means heavy traffic. We'll check the usual slow spots starting at 4. Tomorrow on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Party with Joey on Friends. Weeknights at 1130 on KTLA 5. Now a tent panic erupts at a 4th of July parade after a shooter opens fire on spectators, killing at least six people and sending dozens more to the hospital. Now a person of interest is in custody. And a terrifying attack in Culver City after an elderly woman is violently robbed while walking her dog. The investigation now underway. And marking America's 246th birthday, fireworks lighting up the sky as 4th of July celebrations wind down across the Southland. Now on the news at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And hi there, I'm Courtney Friel, and tonight for Sheriff Calvin. Tonight, 4th of July fireworks shows are wrapping up all across Southern California. But many are mindful of today's mass shooting at a holiday parade near Chicago, the gunman killing six people and injuring two dozen more with a high-powered rifle. KTLA 5's Pedro Rivera is tracking breaking developments from our news center. Hi, Pedro. It was supposed to be a day of celebration for families doing what millions did today, line up city streets for 4th of July festivities. Instead, the day is marred by massacre. Tonight, a 22-year-old's in custody named a person of interest. Fourth of July. <laughs> and then in an instant, it's it's a nightmare. Instead of celebrating the sound of fireworks, parade goers ran from the sound of gunfire in the small city of Highland Park, Illinois, a community some 26 miles from metropolitan Chicago. Very scared because I didn't know if they were they were walking or if they were up in the building. This mother ran with her young daughter to seek shelter in a nearby McDonald's as a shooter from on top of a building fired bullets to the unsuspecting crowd below. Um, she lost her shoe, <laughs> as oh, you can tell. Thing. Yeah, she was scared because, you know, she didn't know what was going on, but I was trying to keep her calm and telling her everything's going to be okay. As of Monday night, at least six people were killed and dozens were injured. Some of those shot were as young as eight years old. We got a lot more work to do. We got to get this under control. At a 4th of July celebration in Washington, President Joe Biden, alongside First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, made a commitment to support investigators. We talked to the governor and to the mayor. We're giving all the help we can possibly give, including uh, FBI and special service. Hours after the shooting, police announced a person of interest, 22-year-old Robert E. Cremo III. Police on scene said a high-powered rifle was recovered. Chicago police officers spotted the 2010 silver Honda Fit authorities were looking for. According to Highland Park Police Chief Lou Jogman, after a short pursuit, Cremo was arrested without incident. This video capturing the moment the 22-year-old was placed in handcuffs. The person of interest is now being taken to the Highland Park Police Department where we're going to begin the um, you know, the next phase of the investigation and speak with this person to make sure or see if, in fact, he is connected to this incident. Adam Haynes further was with his family just feet away from where shots were fired, not knowing this day to mark freedom would be scarred by tragedy. We're really lucky that everyone who was with us was OK and that we didn't see something worse than what we saw. But, you know, it's you, you never think it's going to happen here and then it does. At this point, police are still calling Cremo a person of interest, and he has not yet been charged. And as for the identities of the victims, that has not been released. Live in the News Center, Pedro Vera, KTLA 5 News. Pedro, thank you. The CHP urging people to be safe while driving this 4th of July. The agency says 291 people were arrested Friday on the first night of its holiday maximum enforcement campaign, which runs through tonight. All available CHP officers are on patrol looking for distracted or aggressive drivers. 
drivers and those suspected of driving under the influence. Last Independence.